Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing my lovely client's nails. I know a lot of you guys said that you guys prefer the old angle, but I had already recorded this. So from here on out, I will try to switch it back to the last angle. I actually prefer this just because it's out of my way, but I also prefer the other one because you are able to see everything close up, which I think is a little bit more important than my own comfort. So we're gonna be still trying to mess around and I think I'm just gonna take a day to see what other angles I can do or just move it out of the way somehow. That way we both get what we like. So we're gonna go ahead and start off my client's nails by simply removing her current design. And I'm also going to be filing down the acrylic she has on her nails because we are gonna be doing an acrylic color change. This is also known as a backfill, which is what I like to call it. Some people like to call it a rebalance, but I'm simply doing this not to rebalance the nail, but to change out the color. That's why I prefer to call it a backfill. So we're gonna go in and just file it all the way down. I am using my e-file at a speed of 12,000 RPMs, and I'm going to be using the Kiara Sky 5-in-1 bit, which is my all-time favorite. It is such a good quality bit that it helps remove everything very effortlessly. Now for this next step, we're gonna be buffing the shine off of her natural nail. I like to file her acrylic pretty much to where there's none left. So then I go ahead and fully remove any lifting she might have at this point with the mandrel bit. This is the super small one that they recently released. So far so good, I absolutely love it. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys have tried it out or purchased it for yourself. I absolutely love it. It is such a game changer when it comes to getting into those hard to reach areas. And again, for reference, I am using my e-file now at this point when using it on the natural nail at only 4,000 RPMs and I do not go past that. I do not recommend you guys going past 4,000 RPMs because it can get a little too harsh, especially if you're not comfortable using your e-file. So I'm just going in very carefully, removing that lifting and removing the shine from her natural nail. And I tried to dust off her hand as much as possible throughout the entire process because I know a lot of us get very, very irritated at the fact that there's all kinds of dust everywhere. So I just try to kind of shake it off as we go just to make sure that she's not uncomfortable or anything like that. Now this is an acrylic overlay on her natural nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly shape them out, perfect her natural nail before I go in with my actual application. For this process, I'm using the Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick File. It is my all time favorite if you've been watching me forever. You know I just cannot steer away from these files cause they're just so good. They're easy to sanitize, they're easy to switch out and they're so sturdy that you will be able to perfect your shape a lot easier than if you use other disposable files. So definitely check these out. I have everything linked on my Amazon storefront that is from Amazon, and these happen to be purchased off of there. So definitely look that up on my Amazon storefront to easily purchase those. So at this point, I go ahead and try to file any acrylic that I have left on the nail that I was too scared to fully remove with my e-file. Sometimes it just gets a little scary, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove that excess oil and the rest of the dust using a lint-free wipe and a little bit of Young Nail Swipe. And then I'm going in with a triple X bond from Not Polish. This is just gonna help everything adhere. Do not skip this step, otherwise acrylic will not stick to the nail. Now, whenever my girl showed me the set she wanted, I was so excited because it's something so different and it is so cute and the results came out perfect. So I hope you guys appreciate this short nail art tutorial, but we're gonna be starting off by applying this beautiful yellow color. I love it and it goes so well with her skin. And then once we add all the other colors in the nail art, it just looked so good. So this is called Blonded from Kiara Sky. It has a little bit of an orange undertone, which I think that's why I really, really like it. And it's not super neon. It's just like the perfect summer yellow. So I went ahead and applied just one bead, fully covered her nail, and I'm just doing any little bit of cleanup that I can on the sides to make sure that everything is super, super clean. And for the ring finger and middle finger, we're gonna be using Light Sand from Not Polish. It is such a good nude color for lighter skin tones. 
And so I wanted to match that very well with that yellow and I thought it looked so good. It has like a pink peach undertone, which is why it goes so good with light skin tones. And I thought it just looked so good against her skin. So if you guys do not have this in your collection, definitely recommend it. It is one of my favorites. So I'm just going ahead and carefully applying that. And I felt like that area was a little bit too thin. So I'm just adding a little bit more. And then we're gonna go ahead and encapsulate. I always do this to the colored acrylic nails. It is important you do not skip this step because pigmented acrylics like yellows, all the colors are very fragile. So you wanna add a little bit more strength to that by applying a thin layer of clear acrylic on top. Now once everything is nice and dry, we're gonna go in and file everything. Now right here, I wanted to show you guys, you guys can see big chunks of acrylic kind of landing on my glove. That is an indicator that it is not dry. I didn't tap it before I started. So I noticed the bigger chunks and I was like, okay, this is not normal. And then I went ahead and checked and sure enough, it was not dry, but at this point, you can see that all the dust coming off is nice and cohesive. So all of the little dust particles are pretty much the same size. They are a little bit more on the finer side than those big chunks that I was noticing on the pinky nail. So at this point, I'm good to file and I'm going ahead and just focusing on that cuticle area, making sure that it is nice and flush. And then we're gonna go back in and finish file the nails with a hand file. I always go in, even though I try to perfect my acrylic application to where it is laid on there perfectly, you still need to go in and file. So I'm gonna go in and just make sure everything is super, super crisp. And I'm gonna be flipping her hand around to look at the nails from her perspective. And we're gonna square off the tip that way. I wasn't able to show you guys, but now at this point, I'm gonna be going in and buffing. I'm just making sure everything is nice and smooth for our nail art application. Now I actually had a few of you guys mention that you are still having chipping and lifting from your gel polish application or your nail art application. So I would recommend you guys skip the buffing part and go in with a top coat. That not only is going to allow you to have a smooth canvas to work on for your nail art, but it's going to eliminate the super smooth surface on the acrylic, which is really what sometimes causes chipping and lifting of that gel polish. So hopefully that helps somebody that has been struggling with that. Now for our nail art, I'm gonna be using the Vita Bella Short Liner. It has been my go-to ever since we launched, along with the palette from Vita Bella that we also recently launched. I'm gonna go ahead and apply these colors on there just for easy access. We're gonna be using teal, purple, pink, and yellow and they just paired so good with that yellow acrylic that we used. All of these colors are from Not Polished. They are from one of their liner collections, so I'll leave that linked down below. And then we're gonna be adding accents of black and white, which I think is what brought everything together. So I'm focusing on the outer areas of the nail, and then we're gonna be adding some more nail art on top. So once you're done with this part of the design, always make sure you go in and cure for 60 seconds. They are very pigmented, so you wanna make sure that you fully cure for 60 seconds. And in the meantime, go ahead and work on the other hand. And also, just a quick little tip, whenever I'm doing nail art and I need to switch between colors, I go ahead and just wipe it on my dry paper towel and it gets rid of the majority of the pigment and I promise you, you will not have issues of the color transferring. I never really put alcohol, acetone, nothing. I never really put any type of liquid on it. Um, simply wiping it on your paper towel should help. So. Just for reference, because I know I am kind of switching in between colors very, very quickly. And no, it is not edited. I'm simply just wiping it on my paper towel really quick and dipping it right back into the next color, as you can see right here. So in case you guys were curious, that is exactly what I do. And you can see that none of that pink transferred onto the yellow. And this happens all the time. I do it all the time this specific way, and I've never had issues. So just a quick little tip if you guys are curious. Now, once everything is fully cured, we're gonna be going in with our black and white details like I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna be doing like leaf-like designs. 
So we're gonna be going in with one long line and then I'm gonna be adding little dots and connecting those to the long line with a skinny little line. As you can see, I'm just starting off with my dots. You can use a dotting tool, but I've mentioned this before, I love to be complicated and I love to challenge myself. So I'm just adding the little dots with my liner brush. And for the black and white colors that we're gonna be using, they are from Vita Bella as well. Don't forget to use my discount code on any of the products that I have mentioned to save you guys a little bit of money and support your girls. So we're gonna be going in now with tiny little dotted accents just across some of the colors. And it just looks so cute. Something super, super different, but I love how different it is and how easy it is and how cute it turned out. Now I'm gonna be adding some more little accents of black like little leaves and then we're going to be adding those white dots as well And as always, once again, make sure you cure those fully in the light for 60 seconds. Now I'm gonna be going in with a stain resistant top coat from Young Nails. This is my go-to on my girl because she has a hairstylist. And before I started using this top coat, she used to get stains on her hands and nails all the time. So to prevent that, we're gonna go in with this beautiful top coat that works extremely well. We're gonna add a thin layer of that onto all of her nails. Pop that in the light for a full 60 seconds and then we're gonna simply remove the tacky layer that it does have. With a lint-free wipe and a little bit of Young Nail Swipe, I just go in and really scrub that off to make sure that there's no tackiness left behind. I'm gonna add a little bit of cuticle oil to her cuticles. If you guys are curious, this is the cuticle oil from Profiles Backstage that I collabed with them with. It smells so good, so if you want a really good not super oily cuticle oil, that is it. But that pretty much concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a ton and I'll see you guys next time.